Hello and welcome to day 28 of the 30 Days of NES Classic here on Steven Plays. Today we are playing Star Tropics, which we talked about a little bit yesterday. But uh, Star, Star Tropics is a very unique game. A lot of mother fans enjoy Star Tropics because there are some parallels between the games. Um, the easiest way to explain is probably to just jump in. Um, Star Tropics also is well known for um, having a harder to find manual, or at least a manual that is in good shape, because there's a part of the game that requires the manual to get through. Wow. There was a part of the manual that, I forget what it was exactly, but it was like you had to like soak it in water or something and it would reveal a message wow. about the game. That's neat. So anyone who played through Star Tropics and did that like ruin the manual. So it's like hard to find like the manual or whatever. I might be getting a, an aspect of that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's something like that. So register your name. Um, Sagan. This character's name is actually Mike. Oh, okay. His name is Mike Jones. I am not making that up. I'm pretty sure it's Mike Jones. Now, now I'm like, wait, is it actually Mike Jones? I'm pretty sure it's Mike Jones. Someone's going to be like, it's not Mike Jones. Why do you think that? And be like, well, because, because music. I don't know. But pretty sure it is. One day in summer, you land at Sea Island where Dr. Jones has his laboratory. Okay, so that's where I'm picking up some sort of Jones. So am I his son? I don't know. Um, so you are now at chapter one. So we're just kind of strolling around here. We can go out to the beach or we can go up to the village, which we will do and see what we can see. Welcome to our Coral Cola. It's the name of the little island here. Welcome to Sea Island. I guess they, there's a shorthand for it. Mike! You're an ace pitcher, I hear. Show me how to throw a fastball sometime. So it's like a, you know, very modern type thing. Except also on an island. Oink, oink, oink. oink. It's, a, it's a little butthole. A little piggy butthole. I have to hurry! I'm gonna roast a pig for your welcome party. Oh. <laughs> Poor piggy. I am Miss Coral 1990. Do you think I'm pretty? This game is slightly dated. Have you met our chief yet? He's waiting for you. Well, I'm gonna get there, but I gotta talk to these people. Mike, your uncle told me about you. I feel like we are old friends. It's just this fun little adventure. Look at us going on this adventure. Your uncle, Dr. Jones, is so nice. We call him Dr. J. Oh, last week I met Dr. J. He was very busy solving some strange puzzle. Hmm. Where do you come from? Americola? So our uncle is like some sort of doctor on this island? Last night I gazed up at the Southern Cross. Suddenly I saw many shooting stars. Legends say shooting stars are omens of disaster. Oh me oh my! I heard you were coming. Wanna go fishing? We're gonna have a pig roast. He didn't get the memo. Who are you? Stay away from here. Everyone else knows who we are. We're Mike Jones. Mike Jones! 281-330-8004. Hit Mike Jones up on low, because Mike Jones is about to blow. I've been waiting for you. I'm Chief Coral, Coral Cola and a good friend of your uncle. Listen, Mike, I have some bad news. Last night, try not to be too upset, but your uncle, Dr. Jones, has been abducted. We must keep this from the Islanders. So, Islanders. <laughs> Those islanders. From the islanders. From the sea islander. So they don't panic. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? No. You are the best hope of rescuing Dr. Jones. I don't know what to do. Can you help? Yes. Good. You're brave. Take this star. You may think this star is just a toy, but it's very powerful. Mike, you're an ace pitcher. Use it. You've got a star. Mike, it looks peaceful around here, but in the dark below, many monsters have appeared these last few years. Don't let them get you! Mike, the fate of your uncle is in your hands. Find a tunnel in the village and hurry to Dr. J's laboratory. I was really confused. They're like, here's a star. I'm like, what does this have to do with being an ace pitcher? They said find the tunnel? Oh, you're Dr. J's nephew. Here is the tunnel. Good luck. I found the tunnel. Good job. 
I'm the shaman and sister of the island chief. Your uncle was abducted because he found a secret in the lost ruins. I have great hope that you will succeed in rescuing Dr. Jones. Just like your North Star, island sailors look for the Southern Cross. Mike, many wild monsters await you in the dark below. But remember, the magic of the Southern Cross is always on your side. Now begin the test of island courage. Good luck. Now saving your data. Refrain. Could you please refrain? So now we enter into the other part where we are, you know, where we can attack. We got our yo yo. We can We're jump. an ace pitcher. We are an ace pitcher. It's really interesting, honestly, the inclusion at all on the NES Classic for this. Like, that is kind of bizarre to me. It's, it's actually kind of weird that this game made it. I'm really glad it did because it's such a unique thing, but I'm really impressed. That it, I mean, like, there's so many games. There's a lot, there's like 800 games on the NES. They chose 30, and Star Tropics was one of them. That's pretty cool. This is actually really, really neat. Because there are some other games they definitely could have put on here. Um, one of the things I've, I've seen people starting to speculate over is if, for one, Nintendo would ever do a Super Nintendo version. And what would be on it? But that's the big thing. What would be on it? And, oh man. Is this Slug Fantasy? Yes, it's like, there, well, there's, uh, those are the, uh, the little, what do they call them in Earthbound? The, the, the attack slugs? Yeah. Yeah, they're the attack slugs. So we gotta jump around from platform to platform, and make our way, killing all these slugs, and then that rat. There's a lot of enemies, actually, that, re that re will remind you of Earthbound enemies, which is cool. Oh! I think you would have been okay if he wasn't right there. You think so? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's good to know. You can only jump from... You have to kill all the enemies. Oh, I gotta... Oh, you guys... That ain't no good. Fortunately, they're slugs, so they, yeah. like, are kind of slow. If anyone's watching is and hasn't heard of this game, it really is interesting. Um... Like, I would urge you to check it out if you are interested in this sort of thing and have the time to, to play through it. I don't think it's particularly long, um, but it is, it's different. Now this is, um, this is probably one of the more unique titles, I think, on the NES. Alright, so I gotta jump over here, and I have to not touch the, the rat this time, because if I do it will send me back to the beginning of the dungeon. But there was, like, I mean, there was an animation for grabbing the ledge, yeah. which is what made you think that it would not kill us. Mm-hmm. Mm, guess not. Oh! So what do you think you do, then? Ah! It's a puzzle! It, ah, uh, it was a secret. It was a secret. The whole thing was a big secret. It also opens the door. I killed the rat. That's all it was. It was like, dude, don't jump in the water. Why are you doing that? Don't jump. Don't jump in there. Just gonna run past all these guys. Oh, unless it makes me kill them. It's totally possible. Cause it likes to make me kill rats. There we go. Doing good so far. It's not gonna be open, is it? Oh. Ah, ah! Get rid of these rats. I don't know what the stars are. Um, I this is another one of those games that like I've played a little, little, little bit of, and it's been a million years ago, so I don't remember a whole lot about it. But I think I've made it through this first part. But once again, <laughs> I don't remember, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you need to kill that so I can jump here. I opened the door on the right, so maybe I should go there? Just see what's over here? Ooh, it's a face. And there it's are... a skull. Is it a skull? It's a skull. Where's the skull? The I see the eyes. And then the nose and the teeth are the green blocks at the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Hmm. Was that it? There wasn't any sort of secret, 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 secret? <laughs> It was just a room full of friggin' flies! Guess you should've come the other way first. Clearly. This was a... This was a joke room. That ain't even... Nothing over there. You have to, like, stand on the platforms, though, because you don't know 
if you're gonna run into something that's like... So that one was the one that opened that one. This one opens this one. So I'm gonna go this way. It's another skull. I swear to God, if there's nothing in this one, the game the game is pulling a fast one on me. Don't don't just no, don't just sit there. Get out of here. No. I think you have to kill everything in that one the middle room. What do you think will happen when I do that? I don't know. Okay. Well I could try killing them, and then I could also try jumping on all the stuff. Because the game seems to really like secret platforms. So it might be one of those things. Cause like that's Hmm. What if you jump on both? We haven't done that yet, have we? No. Get the other one. Okay, well, I'm working on it. Nothing happened! Well, I guess you have to step on everything. Well, I did, didn't no. I? I mean... No, go... No, go back. What? Up. Left. Oh, I was like, there's no way to get over there. It's impossible. But you're right, I, I actually can. It is very puzzly. Oh, snap. It was all a trick. Yeah. How did you know? I mean, it had to be something. How do I get Step it? Step on the green things. Can you please open the treasure chest? Yes. Torch! Ooh! So now I have torches. Can I, can I continue through this path of destruction? They are really all about these switches, man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of switches. All right, let me try this out. They're basically fireballs. I got 25 fireballs. I'm gonna stick with this for now, because that seems like a fine choice. You might need the fireballs. Well, and that's the other thing. I might need the fire. Oh, there's another thing over there. Oh, it's a snake. A snake! Good job. I am a young boy using a... There's a chest. I'm gonna get there. Something that opened up. That was a up. chest. Oh. No, it wasn't. Oh. That, that was, was the chest. chest. I am a young boy using a... Yo-yo. Yo-yo to kill snakes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is... <laughs> Clearly, this is Earthbound. This is what I opened, I think. I think I, I think I tore a hole in the fabric of space-time, and I can go in this secret room. Something secrety about this. Bottom. Yeah. I got one juice. I don't know what that... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Shaman, don't say it. Say it ain't so. Under the Southern Cross, anything is possible. Where am I? In the beginning. Oh my god. Alright, well, I think this is probably a good place to stop then. Um, that's Star Tropics. Uh, there's. I mean, it's it's a really it really is a neat game. Like, there's all these sorts of different things. When you That's press so pause, cute. you have the little pause thing. There's it's interesting. There's no um there's no menu, and I think I mean it it got rid of all of our stuff. So you have to start if you die, you do have to start back at the beginning. But huh, I actually kind of want to go through Star Tropics at some point because it's supposed to be pretty fun. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow is Kirby's Adventure. Tomorrow is Kirby's Adventure. Mal, I'll let you handle that one. Tomorrow, Mal will take on Kirby's Adventure, 3 p.m. Eastern, here on Steven Place. Should be a good time. And then soon we'll be winding it all up with Pac-Man, a Pac-Man competition. That sounds like fun, too. <laughs> Join us tomorrow for Kirby's Adventure. See you then.